Muy buenas monstruitos, bienvenidos a otro vídeo del canal Vuelvo a traer el Guild War 2 Como no, continuamos con Mundo Viviente Tercera temporada desde las sombras Parte 2 Como no lo habíamos dejado aquí eh, Pues sí, básicamente para continuar con la historia Que seguimos con el capítulo de Sangre y Piedra Así que vamos a ver que nos informen un poquito más del Manto Blanco These converts sacrificed innocents and toppled the Crichton monarchy. The chaos they inflicted on Tyria was short-lived. They were eventually crushed, and their scattered remnants went into hiding. But pockets of their fanatical followers have been operating in the shadows ever since. Jade men did to her. And all this magic. There's too much. What are we going to do? Let's take it one step at a time. Right now, you need to breathe. Tell me what happened to your squad. Our platoon was on recon. We found something at the north edge of Verdant Brink, so we pitched camp. The plan was to scout the area at dawn, so we turned in for the night. And everything went to torment in a town cart. There was an explosion, then screams. I grabbed my gear and ran out of the tent. Saw one of my men lit up like a winter's day bonfire. Sabatha and her lackeys torched everything, laughing as they went. And then... Blackness. I woke up with a splitting headache, caged like a dog. Kept my mouth shut and just watched them. After a few days, I told them I was ready to talk. Said I'd cooperate in exchange for the safety of my troops. Told them they could use me for hard labor or experimentation, didn't matter. I'd made my peace with them. I was taken deeper inside, thrown in a pen with some others. They deprived us of food and water. Let their dogs snarl at our cages. At night, we heard the other prisoners begging for their lives before being cut open. The sky would light up and I would hear chanting over. Over. Then it'll figure something out. Just Sorry, Commander. Asleep. It stuck with me. What are you doing here? After I was rescued, I notified the Queen about Salvation Pass. Then I regrouped with my squad and chased some white mantle here. So you were here for the blast? Craziest thing. It exploded, then imploded. Like when you're a kid and you dangle spit from your mouth, then suck it back in. I never did that. Uh, sure, me neither. But you know what I mean. When the explosion reversed, it... It was like it pulled at my soul. Wow, la verdad que no estoy muy entendido en el lore de Guild War 2, pero me ha sorprendido bastante esa cinemática, me ha gustado y cada vez me está cuadrando muchísimas más cosas. Y me parece que nunca había jugado la tercera temporada de Mundo Viviente, va a venir bastante candente para unirnos con la expansión de Pass of Fire. Y me mola, la verdad que me está molando bastante, así que vamos a continuar haciéndole preguntas a ver qué más nos cuenta. How have you been since Salvation Pass? I've been thanking Duena that the rescue team found me in time. Not for them. I'd be rotting in a ditch. I close my eyes at night. I can still hear the screams. Men and women. They spared no one. I lost count. Anyway, I made my way back to Falgear's camp and rejoined the squad. Saw the field medic and got checked out. Then we sent word to Queen Jenna about everything. Gave her and the Shining Blade as much information as we could. The Pact offered to put me on leave. But I turned it down. No way I'm giving these murderers a break. So we pursued a lead on White Mantle movement and tracked the pigs up here. Look what they've done to the place. It's shameful. Vale, perfecto. Ahora vamos a continuar con las misiones. Tenemos que ir de nuevo a la nave para entregarlas e informar de lo que sabemos sobre sobre esta zona, sobre lo que hemos averiguado. Así que let's go to allá. Is it as bad as it looks down there? It's not good. White Mantle hit in the blast are mad with hunger for magical energy. They gather any scrap they can find. The White Mantle? 
Could they have done this? And to what end? I don't know. Maybe it was an experiment gone wrong. Maybe it was supposed to empower all of them and it went awry. Whoever it was, we owe them our gratitude. That blast would have hit Lion's Arch, and they just rebuilt the place. I'd hold off on the thanks until we know what their motive is. There's a pack squad down there. They've already established a camp and are trying to get a foothold in the area. That's what I'd like to hear. Well, it's not all good news. Some other pack members were also caught in the blast. Just what the pack didn't need. More dead soldiers. They're not dead, but they've been twisted by bloodstone magic, just like the White Mantle. They don't deserve that. They deserve this. I understand. I'd want the same if the roles were reversed. Thank you, Commander. Continue the investigation. <laughs> mine. All mine. Can you read me, Commander? Loud and clear, Tiny. Finally! There's been tons of magical interference. Been difficult to get a clean line to you. Okay, I've been going over some data coming in from the blast area, and one thing stands out. The people who were within the blast radius who, um, survived? They need to consume the magic to live, but the magic's also driving them more and more insane. That must be why I've seen them snatching up bloodstone shards. Hmm. Then they have to have a way to harvest the magic inside. I wonder how. I'll track down where they're taking the shards for harvest and see what they're using. Commander, over. Did you mean Commander out? It's okay. Communicator protocol takes a little getting used to. Tiny out. scattered by the blast. And that's that. Ah! It lives. Bennett, any update on the creature that hospitalized your scout? We finally got a message from Priory Headquarters. Hard to get a pigeon to fly through a magical storm in one piece. The description of these stone men matched an ancient weapon the Mersot and White Mantle used before the Crichton Civil War. They're called Jade Constructs. They were the Mersot's primary martial units. Floating Constructs? That sounds similar to the Exalted. That's because they're using ancient magic from a similar origin. Or at least that's my current theory, Pooba. Did your backpack just call you Poovah, Commander? It's a long story. Go on, Tiny. There was a time, way back, when the Seers and the Mursat shared a lot of info. Why do you think they're all so floaty? So is there anything that'll keep me alive in a fight against these Jade things? Remember that magical protection I told you about? That should work against Jade Constructs, too. It was based on seer research that Zen, the founder of Rada Novus, performed during the Crichton Civil War. I highly suggest mastering it before you get in a smashy scenario with one of those jade brutes. Good luck! Tie me out! 
Vale, no, muchas peligros se echan, la fosa de las matitas entre, Entrenar vale para lo de la magia Esto significa de que vamos a tener que abrir Como veis aquí tenemos el panel de Heart of Thorns vale, De los puntos de dominio Tenemos lo del planear, conocimientos nulox, etc Y tenemos aquí lo de las magias antiguas O sea, lo que tengo que hacer es seleccionarlo Vale, como veis aquí El contrarrestar magia lo seleccionamos y como veis se reinicia la barrita, así que tengo que conseguir toda la experiencia posible para subir la barrita y conseguir el conocimiento. Por lo que, como veis, ya lo tenemos hecho, porque esta parte evidentemente la voy a cortar en postproducción y ya estaría. Así que con esto hecho ya podemos continuar con el capítulo, pero antes que nada voy a seguir ganando experiencia en la parte del planeo para seguir subiéndolo de nivel, porque es para mí... De lo, más, de lo más útil que hay porque nos sirve incluso fuera de la expansión de Heart of Thorns Como veis ahora en el mapa Tenemos que venir aquí abajo del todo Y para poder continuar con la historia una vez hecho todo esto It looks like there are magical scorch marks leading this way there it's me commander Kate Bennett said he saw you are you trying to figure out why the explosion reversed itself and the trail led me here look at these marks could these have been made by a torrent of magic possibly you think something or someone was behind this or was it a natural disaster seems like an awfully odd natural disaster you saw what happened right I've recently learned to not always rely on my senses they can Betray you. This pedestal seems to be the nexus of it all. Let's look around and... Tremor! Incoming! Did you see that? That bloodstone explosion seemed to trigger some sort of magical echo. I couldn't really tell what was happening. Let's find some more bloodstone and see if we can recreate it. Get a clearer picture. This could give us an insight on why the blast reversed itself. Just a bunch of weapons. Are you sure about that? Because they're glowing. end up down here. I was returning from the grove when I saw the explosion on the horizon. I wasn't going to leave it uninvestigated. Good work getting this deep into the crater. Must have been moving like a shadow out there. That's what I do.
Kate, over here. Stone pieces next to this staircase. Guess this is how someone would get down here to do what... Whatever it is our test hopefully reveals. Hmm. I guess I really wanted it to be a natural disaster. I didn't want to think about someone tinkering with so much power. What was your business in the grove? I was visiting the Pale Tree. How is she after Mortremoth's death? Ailing, but recovering. Although not well enough to give me the guidance I needed. Sorry to hear that. It's... Back to the task at hand. Those explosions expose some more bloodstones. Bloodstone under this table. Este trozo de papel parece haber salido prácticamente indemne de la destrucción. Se diría que se empleó para tomar notas durante una conversación o descifrar un mensaje codificado. Ok, leer. Prueba número 33. Fracaso total. Hemos recibido órdenes de incrementar la producción. Se exige resultados pronto o si no, o si no, ¿qué? O si no, no. Vale, seguir leyendo. El clamor de la disidencia en nuestras filas es incompatible con el avance de la investigación. Siento como si tirasen de mí en dos direcciones distintas. Quiero seguir el rumbo marcado y hacer oídos sordos a esta nueva influencia tan turbia que se mueve entre bambalinas. ¡Hostia! ¿Quién le da las órdenes al magistrado? Mi lealtad se ha convertido en una carga. Tal vez debería huir antes de que el abismo se vuelva ineludible. Lamento dejar atrás a mis hermanos y hermanas del manto blanco, pero me niego a seguir a alguien que se mantiene en el anonimato y se dedica a lanzar amenazas sin freno. Vale, guardarlo. Interesante. Bueno, pues continuamos con la historia. It's a note. Must have survived in this chest. What's it say? It was the white mantle, all right. Apparently they've been prodding the bloodstone for some time now. But it also hints at some sort of splintering within their group and a divisive leader. Must be Codicus. The legged minister. I should stop by Divinity's Reach more often. Out of the loop. Some more bloodstone here. Can't believe this operation was happening under our noses this whole time. By the six. What is that?
push. Back up. Back up. Commander, before we go any further, I want to clear the air between us. Here? Why would I expect any different? Your timing has always been perfect. See, that's why I have to speak now. I know you still accept me. And you have every right to be. I can't take back what happened. But I can tell you I know what I did was wrong. And I'm sorry. My wild heart, Mortimer's voice, they were tearing at each other. And sometimes I didn't know which was which. I was very confused. And I felt like the only person I could trust was me. That's the very time you should have leaned on your friends. Don't you see? I didn't know who my friends were. Enemies, friends, even Fowlin. It was all grey. I wish I would have trusted you, but I didn't. And now that's in the past, all I can do is hope you'll forgive me in the future. Keith, you don't have to respond now. I want you to think about it, so your decision is considered. Okay, well, let's see if our little experiment works. Ready? I'll take care of releasing their magic. Then what? Then we cross our fingers that we jumpstart the magic echo. And don't blow ourselves to smithereens. What was that? What happened? Where you were standing. There was only a brilliant light, devouring magic. Then some people behind the light didn't look so lucky. Silhouettes. They must have been vaporized by the blast. Who would have done this purposefully? Someone who just absorbed the lion's share of a bloodstone's worth of magic. Could have been Codicus. I have to find Kanak and warn him. If he's still alive. Commander! Are you up there? Sounds like someone's looking for you. Commander, Kanak ordered us to find you. Minister Kadakus is in the area. He's alive. I need to tell him about what we just witnessed. Point me in the right direction. Uh, Kate? You know what? I think I'll stay a moment. Maybe poke around some. Are you sure? Will you be okay? It's fine, Commander. Remember? I'm a shadow. Another personal victory. Pues aquí finalizan los actos de una sombra y continuamos con la fortaleza del confesor. La verdad que parece que no, pero eso está bastando... ¡Ay, Dios mío, que no sé ni hablar! Ya estaba tardando el retrasito. Ya está avanzando bastante rápido. Dios mío, que me revientan. Menos mal que viene el raptor. Vale, pues continuamos con la historia y subimos aquí arriba, donde tenemos el otro TP. Kanak, glad to see you're alive. I was afraid you'd been caught in the blast. We almost were, but then, not. Me too. Your troops? Some of them are still looking for you, and the rest are forming a perimeter around this place. I wanted to deal with the Minister privately. I really only need you there to corroborate events, should they go south. Plus, I ran into these two delinquents and figured Dragon's Watch could certainly handle it. Marjorie. Ritlock showed up just in time to help us track down Codicus. It was all anyone could talk about in Divinity's Reach. Kanak, you're here under the orders Countess of... Countess Anise is very concerned about Codicus's well-being. I'm to return him home, unless the innocent until proven guilty minister does something to change those plans. She must be very hopeful your plans change. I was instructed to be tight-lipped about it. But I will say this. Yes. Before we find him... Codicus may have been behind the Bloodstone's destruction and consumed its magic. If it's true, he might be a little stronger than we all remember. If he did, we can't just let him loose on Crida. Or maybe all of Tyria is his prize this time. I only want to be off Anissa's leash. 
Saving the world would just be a corollary benefit. For bright eyes! We have company! No one crosses the white mantle! I'll surely succeed where others fail! White Mantle guards aren't affected by the Bloodstone like the others I've fought. They must have arrived after the explosion. Then they came with Cauticus. We're close. Watch your step. Oh, this place was. That one snuck up on meant me. to keep the unwary at bay. Bloodstone. Strength has left my limbs. Any counter magic measures up your sleeve, man. Nice work. Now, if I could persuade you to take care of the others. Countering the magic of these bloodstones returns whatever magical properties it absorbed. I know a certain big-eared Asura who'd love to be here to study this. I heard that! Perfect. Shields. How do we bring them down? Commander is right about Cauticus absorbing bloodstone magic. That may prove handy. Work faster! These bloodstones won't collect themselves. Sounds like we might have something ahead. Let me take the lead, Ritlock. 
I was given specific orders on how this was supposed to be executed. And I don't need you to defile it with your inclination to blindly smite. If that's a blindfold crack. Care to take the door, Commander? <laughs> Minister Codicus, you have obviously... Oh, he's not here. Gridlock, smite away. My pleasure. You'll never take him! Oye, mis compas me van a dar rezo y me van a dejar aquí muerta. Oye, hola. Que estoy apretando el 4, venid a... No, no vienen. Me van a dejar aquí muerta, qué hijos de puta. La madre que los parió. En fin. ¿Por qué crees que Codicus quería que los colectes de sangre? Espero que le dejara sus pocos en el lago cuando se levantó. No puede ser más allá ahora. ¡Move along, everyone! Magic here has certainly turned this area into a war zone. So, Commander, you really think Codicus caused the blast to reverse itself? Possibly. Kaith and I found Ground Zero and determined something or someone soaked up the lion's share of magic. His escape does seem conveniently timed to be in the right place at the right time. Kaith, what was she doing here? Investigating the blast. She asked that I forgive her for stealing the egg and everything. Hmm. I don't know if I'd be able to. I don't think people can change that much. Ever the cynic. See? Point proven. I'll never change either. Ask Casmir. It would be hard for me to blame Kate for her actions while Mordremoth was alive. But let's save the philosophical arguments until after the minister is dealt with. Then let's lay the man to rest. I think you mean return him to safety. Bleh. I'll never understand human politics. Why do I feel like I'm 
myself. You follow my orders. I don't know where these delusions are coming from. There is one white mantle. Do you hear me? One! Mister, I understand, but... But, but... Quiet! Now tell me again what this pile of rocks can do. Are there magic words? How powerful is it? Well? That's him, all right. Reminds me of a boss I had at the cotton candy stands when I was younger. <sighs> Everyone ready to crash his party? Time for your foot key, Commander. <laughs> Minister Cotticus, you've obviously been taken prisoner by these white mantle zealots. I'm here to rescue you and return you to the royal palace. Let's drop the charade, shall we, you ignorant thief? I will not be returning to Divinity Breach until I wear the crown. So I'm clear. You're admitting you're associated with the White Mantle? Are you quite touched? I'm their supreme leader, and they will carry me all the way to the throne of Kryta. Commander, did you witness that? I did. And by the providence granted to me by Countess Anise, I hereby pass sentence on you, Cordicus Beetlestone. Today is your last day on Tyrion. Allow my blade to bid you farewell. Get them! Turn this thing on! What do you think of my latest find, Commander? It was a bit of a fixer-upper, but nothing a few months ago. I believe it's safe to assume Cordicus didn't absorb the Bloodstone's magic. Otherwise, he'd be down here in the south. the dial. I have returned from the brink of existence. No! You are a false god! The White Mantle is mine! Don't listen to him! Empty words, formed by the forked tongue of a snake. The human seat of power and its current monarch are inconsequential. We are destined to face more virtuous pursuits. My true believers, you're welcome to seek shelter in my light. To those who doubt, you're welcome to burn. Canuck, go now! Don't stand there with your mouth agape! Get me out of here! No! Sorry, Marjorie, no offense to cows. Helpful if they're on your side. Annoying if they're not. I understand. 
Vale, pequeño dato por si lo nombran. Jorma, que es el dragón anciano de hielo, y Primordus es el dragón anciano de fuego, por si lo, para que lo sepan. Krakatori, que es el dragón anciano de cristal, y Saitan era el dragón anciano de la muerte. Así que sabiendo esto, por si los nombran, ya saben más o menos quién es quién. He appeared to be disinterested in Krega. Surprisingly different from the last time the Mursat were sticking their creepy bird feet where they didn't belong. Marjorie, weren't you just saying something about people not being able to change? A virtuous pursuit can mean a lot of things to a Mursat. But I'll admit, I'm curious. Yeah, they might think it's noble to make a necklace out of your teeth. With Codicus not displaying any signs of excess power, I think we have to assume Lazarus was the one behind the blast. We need to find him. Get an idea of what he's planning to do with all that magic. Codicus will want to hunt him down too. He won't readily surrender control of the White Mantle. One will inevitably lead us to the other. Then this will be a good way to start the new guild. A crisis. But hopefully, not a world-ending crisis. It's how I prefer my crises. Commander, can you read me? I have some news. I'm here, Timey. What do you have? Something possibly slightly marginally cataclysmic. I managed to finally get detailed lay readings from the map and determined... Well... What is it? Primordis is active. Vale, desde las sombras completado Como veis nombraron a Primordius Como está activo, así que lo cual es un problema Porque tenemos otro dragón anciano En mitad del camino Vale, vamos a mostrar lo que tenemos ya hecho Homenaje de Eir, investigación en Ratanobu Sangre y piedra, segadora de magia Los actos de una sombra y la fortaleza Ay, del confesor Después tenemos aquí el siguiente que es Llamas Ascendentes Que es la parte 2 que como veis todavía no lo tengo disponible Porque tengo que comprarlo, pero no se preocupen que traeré al canal I understand todo. your priority will be the dragon. Mine, however, is unfortunately spoken for. Looks like it's time to test the new guild's metal. Into the fire we go. A dragon and a mersat. Can't help but feel like we're surrounded. Sí, la verdad que no parece ser que nos tengamos un camino bastante ligerito por delante. Pero no pasa nada, la verdad que me encanta. A lo mejor podemos ver a Primordus. Pues nada, gente, vamos a ir dejándolo por aquí. Nos vemos en el próximo vídeo. Y como siempre, para no perder las buenas costumbres, pórtense muy mal.